everyone, Kaylee here, and today I'm trying out hair scrunchies for a week. This is a new style of video in which I both show you how to do the hairstyle and then I wear it out in the wild. Scrunchies started as a street style movement a couple years ago and have slowly been gaining traction since. And while I think we normally associate them with bad hairstyles of the 80s and 90s, I want to see if they can have a place in 2018. So I'm going to take seven different inspirations, try a new hairstyle each day, and see how I feel about scrunchies at the end of it. Let's get started. Welcome to day one where our theme is runway shows. We've definitely seen some scrunchies on the runway and my personal favorite was at the Mincio Gabrielle Spring and Summer 2018 show, which featured monochromatic looks and coordinating scrunchies. So today I'm taking a little bit of inspo from the show and doing a low ponytail. Now the models were sporting very weightless, naturally voluminous hair, and so to recreate that effect, instead of using stylers, I used my shampoo and conditioner. I used my new ride or die, this Herbal Essences Refresh Blue Ginger and Micellar Water Shampoo. And the Micellar Water breaks down oil so well and so thoroughly, but the shampoo is still pH balanced and color safe, so you can use it on the daily and it gets your hair just like the perfect amount of clean. It also has Bio Renew in it, which adds antioxidants to your hair and fights free radicals. And then the real MVP is the Refresh in the Shower Foam Conditioner. It's physically so much more lightweight than a normal conditioner. It still moisturizes your hair, still makes it smooth, but it does so without weighing it down. And then to add a gentle wave to my hair, I'm taking this one and a half inch barrel and I'm going to curl my hair around it and then I'm going to slide it back and forth on the hair. And when you pull this off, you have this really nice, gentle, natural looking wave. So I'm gonna do that in alternating directions around my head. So there we go, light, fluffy, weightless waves. Took less than five minutes, and I'm a big fan. It's scrunchy time. I'm just gonna bring all my hair together into a very low ponytail that hangs down from the nape of my neck slightly. And that's the hairstyle. This makes me feel very Instagrammable right now. I feel very feminine, but I feel a little bit cool at the same time. To stay true to the inspiration for today's look, I wore a monochromatic light blue outfit and accentuated it with a white classic handbag and white loafers. Maybe if Gossip Girl was around now, maybe this is what I'd be wearing. Is this Blair Waldorf now? Does the scrunchie replace the headband? Who knows? All in all, I thought that this runway look was surprisingly wearable and I'll definitely take inspiration from it again in the future. I also liked that this hairstyle was feminine but also had a little bit of a cool factor to it. If you couldn't already tell, it's 90s day. <laughs> Today's look is inspired by the athleisure trend, which was popular both in the 90s and today. And the hairstyle is inspired by something that I definitely saw in the 90s and saw recently on Bella Hadid. And I'm wearing a wig to replicate that 90s hair length, but obviously you can replicate this on your own natural hair. So let's get into it. Your first step is obviously gonna to be to straighten it. I've already done that, and when I did, I made sure to bump the ends under with the flat iron. And now you just pull it into a half up do. You're gonna put your fingers right on top of your ears and slide them together so they meet right on top of your head. I recommend going in with the comb to really get everything super smooth. And now that everything is slicked back, I'm just gonna take a normal hair tie and secure it in place. And then I'm gonna put the scrunchie on top of that, and there you go. Bella Hadid or Bella Had Don't? So obviously today's goal was to be inspired by the 90s, and so I went with this athleisure look with some joggers, wore them as a high waist, and then threw on a bomber jacket over it, and that was my somewhat minimal athleisure look. Need to flex my abs. <laughs> Get close to listen. This, the sound of the 90s. Every bit of my childhood was that sound. Okay, so obviously I'm having all the 90s feels right now and that is like why I'm loving this hairstyle so much. I do see this for somebody that has like shorter hair and like you pull your hair back and wear it like this to the gym with a scrunchie. It would be so cute and so cool and like minimal extra effort. Today's hairstyle is inspired by retail images of scrunchies. So essentially, if you're looking on a website and you see a scrunchie for sale, how did they style the hair with that scrunchie? It was a lot of low buns and messy buns and so I decided to put that together and do a low messy bun. All right, so we got our third day hair going on. It is not looking bad for third day hair, but I do wanna use some dry shampoo. I'm gonna use this Herbal Essences Revitalize Cucumber and Green Tea Dry Shampoo. This is going to help absorb oil and it gives a really nice fresh scent to the hair. For today's hairstyle, I will be using a normal hair tie and this printed scrunchie. With this normal hair tie, we're gonna create a low ponytail that's a couple inches up from the very bottom of your hairline. And then take a minute to look in the mirror and make sure you like how it looks from the front. Now grab that scrunchie and we're gonna create a double chignon. You take your scrunchie and put it over the base of the ponytail and pull just a little bit of the hair through so you have this little loop. Then rotate your scrunchie and put both the loop 
and the ends of your hair through the scrunchie. Then take any stray ends and just pin them out of the way. And there is our double chignon. I think my immediate reaction is that I like it. So as I was scrolling through retail images, I kept really seeing this like second day coffee and dry shampoo kind of styling to the hair. So to lean into that, I styled it with a graphic tee and jeans and then a statement bag and just some black booties. And I felt like that really took it to that second day dry shampoo and coffee, but I'm still kind of stylish place. Overall, this day was really a win for me. I felt like the scrunchie added a lot of style to the outfit while making the hairstyle much easier. Today's inspiration? Pop stars. Today I'm taking inspiration from this side braid that Ariana Grande wore recently with a scrunchie. My hair has been prepped the same way it was on day one. I used my blue ginger and my cellar water shampoo and my in shower foam conditioner. But in order to create this massive side braid, I'm gonna use a little help from my friends. This part's pretty easy. Just braid your hair all the way down and secure it at the end with a scrunchie. And of course, any side braid is cute. You totally don't have to do this with extensions. I'm not gonna lie, this feels a little over pencil meets 2018. <laughs> I'm always down for a good side braid and a super long side braid. I am also always down for, so the scrunchie is just like icing on the cake for me right now. So I decided to style this with kind of a pop star off-duty outfit. This is a sweatshirt dress with thigh-high boots and it's an outfit that I actually wear fairly frequently. So I love a good side braid and I love a gratuitously long braid, but I do feel like this is a lot to wear just for every day because it's like a baby, you have to take care of it. But for Instagram, for a day where I want to feel extra and fabulous, yeah, absolutely, I'd wear this again. <laughs> Back at it again with the day two hair. Today's inspiration comes to you from fashion bloggers slash street style. I was particularly inspired from an article on the man repeller and at the end she posted a picture of her hair in a top knot in this very like matchy matchy but very fashion situation. So I'm at least gonna try. The top knot, no problem. The fashion blogger outfit, I'm gonna do my best. First things first, I'm gonna go in with my herbal essences, revitalized cucumber and green tea, dry shampoo. Seriously, I can't get over how good this stuff smells. First things first, you're gonna put your hair up into a high ponytail. Now you could leave this sleek, but it's me and I decided to loosen things up a little bit. And now for our top knot, I'm first going to back comb just a little bit for straight fine hair. It just helps me give a little bit of moldability to my hair. And I'm gonna twist it loosely and wrap it almost into like an egg shape on top of my head. So instead of taking it forward like this, like a donut, I'm gonna take it up and over and pin it in place. And then with the ends, I'm just gonna twist them and wrap them forward and across, pin that in place as well. For today, I'm using a pink furry scrunchie because it matches the pink in the flowers on my dress and I liked the difference in textures of having a furry scrunchie. And there is our quick little top knot. The thing I'm immediately noticing is that it does help me to kind of look taller and give me a better jawline, so I I'm into that. For the outfit, I did my best fashion blogger impersonation and I put together this floral asymmetrical dress with retro boots and a classic handbag and some rose metallic sunglasses. And I put these shades on and I'm like, Kaylee who? I don't know her. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like vloggers are doing calculus with their outfits and I'm just trying to add. Like, they're amazing. <laughs> So even though I felt a little out of place in the outfit, I really liked this hairstyle because I saw what the scrunchie can do to change the context of an outfit. And I also have been wearing this hairstyle the most since I finished filming this video. Grab your high tops and leg warmers, it's 80s day. As with 90s day, I wanted to pair current fashion with 80s fashion. So for the 80s inspiration, obviously I took the curls and then I thought about like a half up do silhouette, but I decided to do a half up top knot instead to make it slightly more modern. So that said, let's get into it. I'm going to take a quarter inch curling wand and work in sections from the bottom up, curling my hair in different directions as I go. And after each section, I'm going through the curls and breaking them into two or three pieces each. That way I have more curls, so more volume. But it also helps to break up that kind of Shirley Temple look you get after you use a small curling wand. Well, curls achieved. And now for the half updo. I'm gonna section my hair from the temples to the top of my head, and I'm going to secure it with a normal hair tie. And for the top knot, I'm just gonna create an easy chignon. So I'm gonna go around the base of the ponytail a couple times. And then on my last rotation, I'm just gonna leave the hair looped. And that is our top knot. And then I'm gonna use some soft control gel cream. This helps to moisturize and fight frizz. It's great for those of you guys who do have naturally curly or wavy hair. And it's great for me because otherwise my hair will frizz out. 
we go. This look is cute. I like it. I don't think this hair is bad 80s at all, but the scrunchie and then the clothing I paired it with did help take it to that 80s place. I paired it with light, high-waisted mom jeans, a white tank top, and a matching vintage denim jacket. And the overall effect was very, very 80s. I know on 80s day you were probably hoping for some bad 80s hair. I got you. Overall, I would definitely wear this hairstyle again, maybe not with the denim on denim, but I do really enjoy it. I had a blast, so 80s day was definitely a win. And to close this all out, it's Kaylee Melissa Day. I wanted to live that full braidaholic life and put together a hairstyle that I would normally have like on my channel, in my real life, or on Instagram. So let's get to it. All right, well those curls really held up. I am really going full braidaholic, so we're gonna add in some hair to this situation. I'm just gonna take my straightener and like run it quickly over the curls to loosen them up a little. First things first, low ponytail with this fluffy scrunchie. And now I'm gonna create a pull through braid with the rest of my hair. I do have a full tutorial on that if you want some detail, but here's a quick little run through. You split the hair in half and secure the top half with an elastic. Then split open the space over the elastic and pull in the back half. And now repeat that again. Add on your elastic to the top half, split it open over the elastic, and pull through the bottom half. And just keep going until all the hair is done. And once you've reached the end, just secure both halves with an elastic. And then you go back through and pull apart the bubbles so you have this faux braided look. I like the overall look of this. I feel like it's cozy and comfortable and a little bit stylish. So I paired it with a really normal outfit for me. I just wore a white fuzzy sweater, high-waisted jeans, and slip-on loafers. I think this is another example of the power of the scrunchie. It took what was really a very basic outfit and gave it a little bit more style and a little bit more pizzazz, and I feel like it made it a little more me. And that concludes our week of scrunchies. So after wearing scrunchies for a week, I have some thoughts. Now I went into this thinking that I was gonna wear this faux pas ugly item that people would be staring at me as though I'd sprouted horns. But honestly, people complimented me on my scrunchie and I thoroughly enjoyed trying out new hairstyles every day and actually finding some hairstyles and a new accessory that I wanna wear on the regular. So perhaps we as a culture have put a little too much fear and trepidation into a tiny piece of fabric cause it's actually quite fun to wear. So if you wanna play around with scrunchies after watching this video, I highly encourage it. I had a great time. And at the end of the day, hair, makeup and fashion is all about expressing yourself and having fun. So why not? So that's it for today's video. You can comment below and tell me what you thought and hit that like button if you wanna see more videos like this. Don't forget that I post new videos on Saturdays and Wednesdays so you can subscribe and turn on post notifications so that you're always notified when I post. And that's it for today. I'll see you in my next one. Well, bye.